Hello guys, welcome to my review of Calculate Linux Desktop, KDE Edition. I'll be using the latest ISO file, which at this moment is version 17.12, but since this is a rolling release distro, this doesn't really matter. They create snapshots every 6 months, so that you don't have to upgrade a lot of packages when you install it for the first time, or whenever you need to reinstall it for whatever reason. So yeah, calculate Linux. This distro is based on Gentoo. It takes advantage of Gentoo's powerful source-based portage package manager. However, it uses binary packages by default, and provides its own graphic installer as well as a set of tools that may calculate Linux easy to use even for new users without previous experience with Gentoo. Like its parent distro, it uses a rolling release model, meaning the packages are continuously upgraded to the latest versions as they become available. And unlike many other Linux distros nowadays, Calculate Linux does not use systemd. Instead, it uses the classic system5 in its system. And without further ado, let's begin this review of Calculate Linux. As you can see, it uses the KDE Plasma 5 desktop environment, and they've placed the bar at the top, which is a nice option in my opinion. I like it either at the top or the bottom, but um, the top is my favorite position. And you can also see that there is a dock at the bottom with shortcuts for your favorite applications. Now on the top bar you have this leave button to log out or turn off or restart your computer. Then you have this lock button and of course a digital clock. If you click it, there's this nice calendar and some important events for the day. As you can see, I'm reviewing this distro on St. Valentine's Day. <laughs> there was nothing more interesting that I could find to do today. Well, that's not really true, but it doesn't matter anyway. And to the left, you have the, the status and notifications panel. And then some status icons. And a shortcut for the trash. Moving to the left, we have this show desktop button and by default, we have four virtual desktops. Here you can go home or any other of your main folders. So, finally, we have the applications menu. So let's First of all, see how much memory uh, Calculate Linux uses after a fresh boot. Let's open the system monitor. Uh, about 600 max. Actually, a little bit more, 685 max. And the CPU usage is probably a little bit higher than I was expecting to. Now let's explore the application menu in more detail. You have a link for your recent applications and documents. And then you have several submenus. The first one is development. Now, Curiously, they've um, included 
Qt5 designer, although they are not a bloated distro. Then graphics, they have GIMP and some other apps. And the internet, we have, for instance, Kmail, Conversation, the IRC client, KTorrent, the BitTorrent client, Firefox. Let's check the version. It's version 58.0.1. And then multimedia, we have the Clementine music player. Office, they, they have LibreOffice version 5. Version 6 is not yet available. Then settings. Some system settings here, like the workspace theme. They have their own theme by default, the calculate theme. But let's try another one, Breeze Dark. Hmm, I like this one. And then desktop themes. Let's try this one. It's the light version. I prefer the dark one. It's much better. Cursor themes and even sparse screen themes. Mm, what else? There's the system submenu. Let's see the info center. KE Plasma version 5.11.5. And they have this calculate console, which is a graphical tool Calculate console to help you um, doing backups, uh, building ISO files. Um, there's some client applications here, uh, domain password modification, configuration tools. Uh, desktop, user account configuration, etc. Installation tools, update tools, and other general utilities. But perhaps the most interesting one is this one, the update system. This basically lets you upgrade all your packages using the graphical user interface instead of using, for instance, Emerge on the command line. Let's run it. It takes a little bit of time. It's calculating the dependencies. Meanwhile, we have this dock here, which looks really nice, I must say. And they have some, some nice shortcuts by default. We need um, a shortcut for Firefox, Kmail, Conversation, Contacts, LibreOffice Writer, LibreOffice Calc, KCalc. 
I really like this art thing. What else? Gimp, Clementine, and others. And there's a shortcut to the console. Now, this is taking really long. I don't really know why, but it's really, really slow. So, meanwhile, oh, it's finished. So, uh, well, the system is already up to date, but it lists some packages for removal. And to wrap it up, let's open a console and run NeoFetch as well as our um, usual Spectre Meltdown Checker. So the kernel version is 4.14.14 and the number of packages is 1274. Now, although this is not a bloated distro, I also cannot say that it's a minimal one. Here you can see the themes used, the icon themes as well. And now let's run the Spectre Meltdown Checker. needs root access because in it needs to check some kernel information. So Spectre variant 1 status vulnerable. Spectre variant 2 mitigation 1. There's no no support for for the kernel is, is not compiled with support for IBRS or IBPB. Mitigation 2. Uh, although the kernel is compiled with Redline option, the status is vulnerable because the kernel is not compiled with a Redline aware compiler. And as most other distros, it is not vulnerable to meltdown. And now some final words about Calculate Linux as I open a terminal to run an Emerge world. I would definitely recommend this distro both to power users and newcomers. It builds upon the great base provided by Gentoo unleashing the power of portage in a way that everyone can use it. There's a small caveat though, the graphical installer isn't the most intuitive one, and documentation could be improved. You can always read Gentoo's wiki, which is a great resource. You get a reasonable amount of packages out of the box, but I wouldn't call this a bloated distro. To sum it up, Calculate Linux provides a powerful rolling release without a steep learning curve. And that's it. If you'd like to watch more videos like this one, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. As always, use Linux long and prosper.